Now in part A, you should have a light and switch node already loaded with appropriate applications from the previous steps, and it's time to make sure that those applications are running correctly on each node. And we're going to do that by checking the serial output from each one. So right click on each device in the adapters view after being connected and say launch console. That's going to give you a tab with the name of the adapter for which the console is launched. So in my case that will be TRN3A2 and TRN3B2. If you like you can move the tabs around by clicking and dragging the tab so that you can see both of them side by side. Now you're going to need to move to serial zero because that was our application serial port that we chose during the configuration. So if you go into the window and press enter you should see a prompt that corresponds to the device name you chose in the general tab. In my case I have my switch on the switch node and my light on the light node. Make sure that you're getting the expected prompt on each device. If not you may have forgotten to upload the bootloader or the application firmware to the target node. Then you're going to right click on the devices and say start capture to start watching the packet traffic on each device. Initially there won't be much to see because the nodes aren't joined yet, but we want to be ready when the traffic starts to flow. That will bring up a new live capture window and just like we did with the console we can drag that around so that you can see all the pieces together. At this point you're ready to begin forming the network with a pair of EM357 based devices, each running a light and a switch application.